I was thinking about getting LASIK surgery until I saw this video. Listen, if you planning on getting eye surgery done, you might want to watch this video just so you can learn some do's and don'ts because this man right here actually went through the LASIK and actually fell under the 1% of people that typically have issues after they have the LASIK. So listen, it was crazy. Listen to what the doctor told him, even what his lawyers told him when he tried to go back and fight on this situation because he's losing his sight. Check this out. I feel like this video is long overdue, uh, but I'm coming up on a, a year post-op. Um, for those that don't know, my name's Hayden. I'm 22. I had laser eye surgery uh, about a year ago. I was 21 at the time. And um, yeah, here's my, uh, here's my LASIK story. Um, I had LASIK surgery on May 12th, 2023 at Horizon Eye Care with, uh, with Dr. Hunter Stoldorf. Um, I was the ideal candidate um, in my consultation. He said that I was the perfect person for the surgery. I could have whatever procedure I wanted. I was young, I was healthy. My corneas looked good, uh, no signs of dry eye. Um, so I trusted him and asked some questions. Uh, I asked about the uh, complications and um, he listed three, which of course I later found out to be way more. Um, and he said that they were very rare, uh, less than 1%. He's only ever had one person come back and um, he corrected the issue is what he said. So I went ahead and I booked the LASIK surgery, uh, this life-changing marvelous procedure. And um, I go in for the surgery, uh, my partner drives me, um, I get there, I uh, am given a Valium, they dilate my eyes, I look at a consent form, um, and I read over the consent form. Anyways, um, yeah, so I, I have the surgery, I, uh, everything goes great, um, they did the surgery perfectly, correctly, um, and I, I go home, I sleep, I wake up, and I can pretty much see. I was like over the moon, I was excited. And uh, uh, two months goes by, and yes, I'm using all my drops and my medicines and my sleep goggles and I'm taking care of my eyes. They're my eyes. So for some, before someone says that, oh, you must not have followed the post-op instructions. Nope, not the case. Um, but I went in for my two month post-op and just for context, all of these appointments I'm gonna talk about, uh, I brought my sister, my mother and my partner um, and I recorded most of them. So I'm not afraid that they're gonna, I, I, I can prove all of this uh, with my records. I mean, I'm, I'm not afraid, so. Um, yeah, uh, I was complaining of constant burning eye pain, um, and the visual side effects that were temporary were still not going away. Uh, I was struggling to watch TV or play any games because I just couldn't see it. Um, and uh, the entire time, it just felt like my surgeon and the nurse and everybody who walked in the room just was gaslighting me and telling me that, you know, you were going to heal, like, we're really optimistic that you're going to love your results. Um, everything looks good, keep using your artificial tears, uh, your brain will learn to adjust and look past your night vision issues. Um, went in uh, for another appointment a month later, still complaining of the same things, um, and my surgeon tells me that my pupils are very large, um, like very large, and he hands me a bottle of bromonidine, which is a pupil shrinking agent. Um, well, that's like a side effect of it. It's actually a glaucoma medication with preservatives in it. Um, so it's, it's not safe, um, but he hands me that and tells me that here, this will help shrink your pupil and it will help you with your issues, um, while your brain learns to look past it and adjust. Um, it's not a permanent fix at all. Um, and he goes on to explain how my pupils are dilating past the optical zone that he put in my eye, um, which I already knew at this point. I mean, I, I've done, I, I've been doing so much research, um, learning way too much about LASIK and the industry and everything. And I would continue to keep researching um, so I wouldn't be gaslit. Um, and so we leave that appointment um, with the Bramana Dean. And, uh, you know, I mean, just m months and months go by and I'm still in pain. I still can't see. I developed floaters four months post-op. Um, just, I mean, the, the feeling like it was the worst mistake of my life. I sunk into a deep, dark depression, um, was suicidal. And... And just, I mean, in and out of the hospital for pain, uh, therapy, especially made eye drops, driving across states to go see eye doctors. Um, I mean, I, I had seen probably 20 doctors at this point, um, all of the unaffiliated um, with LASIK ones, uh, completely just 
refuted what my surgeon and my clinic had told me. Uh, pupil size, there, there is an abundance of evidence to um, suggest that pupil size matters. Um, and also, why would my surgeon give me that if pupil size didn't matter? Um, as for the floaters, uh, my surgeon denied that the surgery caused them. He said that we're only operating on the cornea. Uh, there, there's no way they were caused by LASIK. Um, you know, you just couldn't see them. Your vision's so good now, you just you just couldn't see them, which is complete crap. Um, floaters are moving around in the back of the eye in what's called the vitreous, and you can wear glasses or contacts and see them if you have them. Um, so that was a lie. Uh, pupil size was a lie. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I, I go on this, this long journey of doctor after doctor, medication, drops, supplements, acupuncture, I mean, everything you can think of, I've tried it. Um, amniotic membrane contact lenses, which yes, are made with placenta. Um, and I'm still in pain. Uh, I have my whole life ahead of me and it's crazy because I hired, I hired a lawyer, which I'll talk about openly now because they dropped my case. Um, and you know, after months of collecting my records and uh, me sending them all the research I've researched. I mean, l literally thousands of files on my computer, a binder full of evidence. I mean, I've spoken with doctors who now disapprove of the surgery, who were on the panel to approve it. And um, it's just wild to me that they found another LASIK surgeon to testify that everything my LASIK surgeon said was true and that pupil size didn't matter when my literal surgeon gave me a pupil shrinking eye drop to fix my, fix my problems. So why would he do the surgery if my pupils were too large to begin with? Um, another LASIK surgeon to testify that floaters weren't caused by the surgery. I just couldn't see them. I'm so hyper fixated on them now because my vision is just so good, which by the way, I literally can't see at night. Um, and for the chronic pain, the other LASIK surgeon that they found to testify said, quote, chronic pain and nerve damage is an unfortunate but known complication of laser eye surgery. Um, so all of these surgeons uh, will or have, um, they will mess up someone's life. Uh, they will destroy um, someone's vision for money. Uh, it's, it's insane that people can see videos um, of just data and evidence and you know, non-biased sources suggesting that the LASIK industry is not what it seems and how they've been manipulating data and lying and I mean, the literal FDA has had to step in and write a draft guidance because clinics fail to provide informed consent. Um, so it, it's just it's just wild. So yeah, um, Horizon Eye Care in North Carolina, Dr. Hunter Stoldorf, um, you messed up my eyes. And I hope you see this. It's crazy, but I actually believe his story because when I was getting my eyes checked, they actually said the same thing to me trying to get me to do Lasix, but me, I wasn't trusting it. I had to see more examples. I had to see more people go through the process. I don't care if a million people already done it. It just wasn't hitting for me. So to actually see that the doctor was telling him the same exact things, knowing that his pupils were too big for the surgery, is crazy to me. But what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that follow button. Also, I will tag this creator so you guys can follow him for more updates. Peace.